Hello guys, welcome to uh, Security Red vs Blue Team channel. So in this video, we mainly focus on what is cyber security and what are the major roles of Red and Blue Team when it comes to cyber security and what are the tools involved and what are the major certifications that is required when someone when if somebody wants to pursue a career in cyber security. So we'll just, uh, discuss on that. So let's get into uh, cyber security. So what is um, cyber security? So cyber security is one such thing. Uh, it's like an application of technologies, processes, and controls to protect the systems, networks, programs, devices, and data from cyber attacks. So cyber security is like um, focusing um, focusing on protecting the computer systems from an unauthorized access or being otherwise damaged or made inaccessible. As in this uh, fast moving uh, digital era, the information security has become a broader category where that protects all the information assets, whether it could be in hard copy form or it could be in digital form, it could be anything. Since uh, digitalization has become a boom and since last few years, the many companies have started spending more and more on the security assets of the organization as we have billions and trillions of uh, people using the internet on a day-to-day -day basis. So when it comes to cyber security, uh, some of the distinct types like we have application security, we have network security, we have cloud security, we have IoT security and we have infrastructure security. So it's not just limited to these and we have many more as well. So now when we look at the roles, uh, what uh, Red and Blue Team actually does. So Red and Blue Team both are like work towards improving the security of an organization, but they do the things so differently. So let's have some light on what uh, Red and Blue Team does. So let's get into the details. <clears throat> so what is Red Team? So Red Team, it's like it plays a role of an attacker by trying to find out the vulnerabilities and break through the cyber security defense. So when we look at the day-to-day -day activities of a Red Team, it mainly involves in testing of security of an organization system by emulating a malicious actor and hacking into the security systems or it could be data. So Red Team is actually, um, it gains the initial access usually through the theft of any user credentials or it could be social engineering techniques. So once uh, they're inside the network, the red team elevates its privileges and moves uh, laterally across the teams with, uh, with the goal of uh, processing as deeply as possible into the network and exfiltrating the data while avoiding the detection. And these offensive teams typically consist of highly experienced security professionals or it could be uh, independent ethical hackers or it could be uh, who could be uh, focused on penetration testing by imitating the real world attack scenarios. Red teaming is the act of, it's like um, systematically and rigorously identifying the attack path that breaches the organization's security defense through real world attack scenarios. So when we look at um, the important skills that would um, uh, needed for a, to be a become member of Red Team, so one must have a deep awareness of the computer systems and the protocols that will be used. Then. Uh, one must have a strong software development skills and expertise in pen testing and social media engineering, uh, social engineering skills. So it's not just limited to um, these skills and it is not that one must have all of these uh, skills to start off with, but having most of them would have a, uh, will have an added advantage to the career. So this is with respect to Red Team, but um, and when we look at the tools that will be used on the regular basis, we have Kali Linux. So, and we have Metasploitable Linux and we have Bobsuit, John the Ripper and many more tools. So, so the reason for focusing on these tools importantly because, see, these are the mainly uh, those, uh, tools that are open source and readily available and not just limited to one company uh, or so because uh, each company has their own uh, inbuilt tools which are not exposed outside. So, if we, if we speak about one of the one or two tools mentioned over here, uh, Kali Linux is one such thing where it um, by in inbuilt it has uh, too many um, attacker tools uh, that involves at the different stages of the hacking. It could be your information gathering stage or it could be scanning stage, it could be gaining the access to a particular remote or maintaining the access or it could be uh, clearing the tracks. So similarly when it comes to Metasploitable Linux, it is like a a vulnerable machine where we can explore most of the uh, web related uh, uh, vulnerabilities through uh, the applications that is inbuilt as part of metasploitable which is like uh, dvwa which is a dynamic vulnerable web application and utility and many more 
and similarly when it comes to the verb sort so which is provided by a ports figure and this is one of the great tools where we can do a lot of stuff with the, uh, the web pen testing um, and, and we have like enterprise addition and we have professional addition uh, for, the, for the paid version and we have enterprise addition which is freely available so we have like many other tools like and, and these are the great tools to start off with for anyone who wants to start a career or who is already uh, in the security career so when it comes to the certifications if someone who is already in the, the field of security so it would be good for them to start off with uh, company up and test place and oscp and any other uh, important certification so if somebody who is in the testing team or who is in the technical support team or who is in the development team so the best certification to start off with uh, is ceh which is certified ethical hacker so this is one such certification which mainly focus on what are the stages that is involved in the hacking and what are the different tools that will be used at the different stages of hacking and so it, it gives the real uh, big picture about the uh, the hacking stuff and um, so this is one of the great certifications that are uh, offered by the easy easy to council organization and when we move to the next stage so one who completes the ceh and one who wants to um, uh, start a career in uh, red team so i would suggest to go with the comptia uh, company which is uh, providing a pen test certification so we have comptia pen test plus and we have and then followed by we have oscp uh, this is one of the uh, the toughest uh, exams or certifications we could see yeah uh, so i think um, the following in this way would be the best um, suggestion from our side and we have many other certifications as well but uh, we prefer um, starting off with these certifications as the best thing yeah so uh, so this is with respect to red team so if we move on to the blue team so blue team it does opposite, exactly opposite to the red team so it is like a defense team it uh, defend against the attacks and respond to the incidents when they occur and as we said it's like blue team is like mainly defense focused so they are they architect and maintain the protective uh, internal cyber security infrastructure so typically it's speaking like uh, this group consists of like a uh, incident response consultants who provide the guidance uh, to the mainly to it and product security team where to make improvement to stop uh, sophisticated type of attacks cyber attacks and threats so then IT and product team, product security teams are then responsible for maintaining the internal network against various types of attacks or risk. So, um, so when it comes to the skills that is required mainly for uh, blue team, so blue team, uh, to be a member of blue team, so one must have full understanding uh, of the organization security and strategy and analyzing skills and hardening techniques to reduce the attack surfaces and keen awareness of the companies um existing security detection tools and systems and their alert mechanisms so this is with respect to blue team so when we look at the tools that is used commonly we have nasus so nasus is not just a tool for blue team but it is also for uh, the team as well uh, however but uh, it just finds vulnerability and also it, it is used for um um performing the auditing on the system so it find out the some of the loopholes where that would be uh, mitigated uh, and that would be tightened where we can tighten the security so and then we have cs benchmark which performs the level one and level two um, benchmarking of the system to find out the loopholes in the system uh, to to find out the the weakness uh, not not the loopholes uh, to find out the weakness where that can be tightened um, to meet the security standards and we have pf sense y shark and many other tools um which will be seen as part of uh, blue team and when it comes to certifications um initially we can start off with the comptia security plus or we can we could consider one could consider ch as well certified ethical hacker apart from that and we have um comptia um, provided a cysa plus that could it could be a great certification to start off with then we have cssp but we prefer cssp to start off after a few years because CSP requires a standard five years of um, uh, security experience from an organization. Of course, even though we can take the certification, but we uh, get the certification as an intermediate level. And we have other different certifications like CSA, SIEM, and other sorts. So we suggest if somebody, uh, someone who is new to the security field and who wants to start a career in blue team, then we, we prefer taking through either CEH or start off with CompTIA Security Plus then followed by comptia cysa plus i think these two would be sufficient later uh, you, you can plan for cssv and csa so on conclusion um 
um, both the red and blue team exercises are very important to our organization. So mainly to uh, identify the misconfigurations and coverage of gaps in an existing security products and strengthen the security uh, um, to detect the targeted attacks and improve the breakout time. And also to um, like uh, raise healthy competition among the security personnel and foster the cooperation among the IT and security teams and elevate awareness among the staff as to risk of human vulnerabilities which may compromise the organization's security and also and also like to uh, build the security uh, build the skills and maturity of the organization's security capabilities within the, the safe and low risk environment yeah so i think um, yeah this is with respect to cyber security red team and blue team and what the things that uh, one can do and one who wants to uh, pursue a career in uh, security especially red and blue team so thanks so thanks for watching the video please do like subscribe if you like to receive more security content updates and comment for any inputs and feedbacks and soon we'll get back with the next security content thanks thanks for